disaster in the fish room still. Let's take a look. All right, let's go in. Ta-da! Much progress, but not really enough as I wanted. I really wanted tanks in there so I could start plumbing uh, and ordering plumbing supplies, but. Now let's take a look at the rack first. Um, so there's gonna be 320s on the bottom, 320s in the middle over here, and then on top, three courses up, will be uh, probably 10s, maybe some 20 longs. Then on this side, it's a four course space. So one, two, three, four, with a spacer on this side to match that side. There's gonna be a 90 here, and then a shelf, and then a 75, and then the top shelf. And if I can fit 10s up there, I'll put 10s up there. Uh, or more 20 longs, we'll see what we have. I have a ton of 10s. I think I have seven or eight, maybe nine empty 10s. At least six of them are already drilled um, from that silver rack that was here. I moved the silver rack out of the fish room. Basically, I don't have room for it like I wanted. I don't wanna really be squeezed in here, so. Um, I do have the dehumidifier right here for now. Um, I moved it from the other side of the workbench. Um, I'm not exactly sure where it's going to live, if it's going to live here or live over there. Um, but it's going to live somewhere over here, on this side at least. Um, oh, tool cart. If you remember, I got this tool cart from eBay. It was like 60 bucks. $30 cheaper than the Craftsman version, which I believe is the exact same thing. And you can see I have a wheel down there. It came with solid wheels on one side and wheels that turn on the other. I went to Harbor Freight and for 16 bucks, uh, of course I used a 25% off coupon. Uh, I got two more wheels that turn. So now I can just move it all around the workroom or the fish room, however I want. Pretty good upgrade actually. What else? Uh, oh, lights for the new rack. Um, I have lights. I was smart this time and I mounted lights uh, before I put the rack up. So we have these lights up here. These are cheap eBay lights, but they get the job done. Um, we'll go on a timer when the time comes. I have definitely a light for this tank and the 75 that's gonna go above it. And I have to decide this is a like a 38 inch space. So I could buy 36 inch lights. Uh, I do have a bunch of 48 inch LEDs. Fortunately, they won't fit. Um, I mean, I might be able to hide it in here, like this space here and on the other side. I might do that because I have them. Um, if I decide not to do that, I also might put it diagonally just so you know it can fit in the space if it does fit in the space if not i gotta go out and buy more 36 inch lights like the ones i have over this tank and that tank those that set of tanks um either way i i may need another one i don't know what i'm gonna do this is also a 30 this one is actually 37 inches and it barely fits 320s um I do have some lighting to do on, on this rack um, as well, lighting upgrades. The plan is going to be, so I can't fit another 20 there, it just doesn't fit. This post is kicked out probably three quarter or half an inch and uh, I need that at least quarter of an inch to get a tank in there. So the plan is um, I'm supposed to sell these, the Koi Angels to Super Breeder Steve. And then I'll have um, some blue zebras and the fantastic looking angels I got from Daniel Anderson at Hypnotic Aquatic. Those angels from Hypnotic Aquatics aren't for sale. They were a gift. The plan is to put them upstairs in a 55. Um, we'll talk about the 55 in a second. And then I can fit three more 20s and another 10 here or a 30 and something. Whatever I decide to put down here. But... When I take this 55 out, then I'll be able to kick that 
post over a little bit and fit another 20 in there. Wow, that was a long way to go for that. So speaking of the 55 upstairs, if you watch my channel, um, you know I have one show tank upstairs. It's a 30 gallon with two angels and a pleco. Um, and it's planted lightly and it's lightly scaped and um, it's not very nice. And that same spot that the 30 is in, I can fit a 55. So I'm gonna take a 55, put it upstairs, really scape it, get some great plants from H2O plants or maybe Green Acres, Green Oasis out in Arizona, Mike from Arizona's place and scape it nice, put angels in it, maybe get some quarries for the, you know, the bottom and, and just make it look nice, a nice tank. That's my plan. Um, if you wanna see that tank being built and scaped and maintained, that's gonna be released on my Patreon. There's a link for Patreon in the description below. I've had a Patreon for probably about four months now. And to be honest, I didn't put any content on there other than a couple of video links. And that's not cool. So I'm gonna start putting content there that may or may not be released on YouTube. If it is released on YouTube, it will be released uh, much later than it was on Patreon. So if you wanna see that kind of stuff, take a look at my Patreon. I think it's only a dollar per month donation and uh, that money is going towards you know the fish room either a new camera or better equipment or what have you so um last the end of last year i upgraded my mic hopefully the speaker or the sound is better and uh the video quality it is what it is i'm not you know jimmy uh, i suck at this kind of stuff so i kind of just turn my phone on and go all right that's enough of me babbling Take a look at Patreon. If you want to buy a t-shirt, go to my Teespring store. And uh, for great fish food, check out fishfreaksplus.com. And uh, I think that's about it. Everyone have a great day.